me daisy doll welcome to my channel oh my god if you're a new subscriber thank you for subscribing i'm super excited that you finally found me and if you're not new here i'm so glad that you're back and you're watching this video <laughs> so in today's video i am doing a july plan with me you know it's monthly reset time you know can you believe it it's already july i have to say june just felt like it flew by super fast i don't know if it was just me but i feel like it initially started off slow and then it picked up you know halfway through i'm just super thankful for how it went i'm super thankful for how the year has been going so far if you're new here i moved from the west coast to the east coast packed everything in my car and moved over here and um yeah it was pretty nuts <laughs> i have a whole video about it but it's been so worth it and i'm so thankful for where i am today so you know when someone moves it's like you're trying to get your bearings i feel like i'm trying to get back to just kind of being really active whether socially or you know whether doing workouts um just getting back into a routine anyways i say all that to say that i use notion to help me plan out my life since i discovered notion a couple of months ago i think it's just so great because it kind of helps me jot down my thoughts my goals my ideas um, it helps me plan things out um, it kind of keeps me accountable you know so instead of me just thinking oh i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that you know it's not just a thought it's actually somewhere that i could go back and reference and plan out you know in as much detail as i want june itself just to quickly reflect I feel like June was all about health. My goal was to be able to just be less sedentary, be more active, go for walks. Um, so I was able to do that and that was really exciting. I was able to go for walks, I was able to get on my eating healthy shit. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I think sometimes when you're in a new place and you're still, you know, trying to settle in, you know, your habits kind of go all over the place. I, I feel like it's not just me, right? I feel like my habits are now like getting more in check and you know i'm eating better i'm being more conscious of what i'm doing how i'm feeding myself the times i'm eating um the type of things i'm eating so that has been really good june was a pretty good month for the most part i did the things i did set out to do so let's get into planning for july you know i wonder how this month is gonna go so all right, let's do this. So here's my notion. Yeah, I made a few updates. I feel like part of the exciting thing about planning, you know, for a new month is that I get to update the images, you know, like refresh the page, just so I could get, you know, more inspiration, right? So anyway, let me dive right in. I still kept the quote, because baby, you're a firework. Come on, let the colors burst. Make them go, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you're gonna leave them all in awe. All right, so <laughs> I guess that's like, I guess that's like my mantra, you know, like to hype myself. For my homepage, um, like I said, I love to update what I have just, you know, to, to be vibrant, to be lively, um, to inspire me. Really, it's all about inspiration, right? As you see here, I do have a daily section, a live section, and a personal section. I really love this little gift right here with the tiki cups and the fresh fruit by the pool. Cause guess what? It's gonna be hot this summer. <laughs> it's already starting to be like in the 90s over here. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, like 
it's about to be really hot. So lots of cool drinks, lots of water, lots of staying hydrated, right? So that's kind of what that represents. And then when you look at the life, um, I love putting a quote right there. Um, so this quote says, do something today that your future self will thank you for. And that really stands out to me because, you know, like if I think of the past and I'm like, oh, what is something that I did that now my future self is thankful for? I feel like I could count a few things on my hand. <laughs> and that's a good feeling, right? When you implement something in your life that, you know, later on in the future is just beneficial to you, it just feels good. So I put that there as a reminder, like, hey, like, you know, it's time to like really intentionally, strategically do something um for myself that my future self will thank me for so you know let me know in the comments is there something that you know you have done that you feel like your future self um would be thankful for or that you did in the past and your present self is thankful for doing so let me know in the comments. And then, you know, under personal, I just kind of kept it calm, cool, and collected with that gift right there. So anyway, in this page, you really just get to see my agenda, habit tracker, goals, watch list, shopping list, uh, recipes list. I actually kind of, um, decluttered <laughs> decluttered my notion a little bit um initially when i first set up the notion i did have a few you know pages here i think i don't want to say i was overly ambitious <laughs> um like one of the things i had there was to learn french um one of the other things was uh planning my travel adventures and I mean, those things are great and I still want to do them, but I'm being more realistic now just going off of, okay, like, what am I planning soon? Am I planning to travel anytime soon? Not necessarily. So I just kind of like tabled that, archived that. And then learning French, I mean, <laughs> I think it's fun to learn a new language and I feel like I am going to pick it up at some point but i'm just being more realistic so it's less cluttered and i like it this way anyway so as you go on you're gonna see i you know i do have like a um, widget for music uh wendy marcini lost in Tra translation it's actually a beautiful song let me see if i could play a little bit of it for you to hear, I don't know if you'd be. I think you should be able to hear it. Let's see. Okay. sure we we stay on track here but i really like that song lost in translation it just has this like upbeat active busy productive fun vibe to it and i feel like you know what maybe that's the theme for july you know busy active fun vibes you know we'll see we'll see but anyway as you see the time <laughs> 10 37 p.m um is when i am doing this <laughs> it's very current and then as you scroll down just more visuals to make the page fun and then i have this quote widget so every time i refresh this page this quote widget refreshes with a new quote with a new inspiration so this one says my best friend is the one who brings out the best in me Henry Ford. You know, I would have to agree, Henry Ford. <laughs> 
I would have to agree. And then there's nothing really else here, you know, just romanticizing my life in 2023. That's like one of my themes, okay? So let me just dive right into, let me go right into the agenda portion. So in the agenda page, it's really just more about what are my plans for the month in general plus what am i trying to do each day of the week for monday so right now it's friday <laughs> i'm gonna be organizing the living room it's pretty organized already but i feel like there are just a few things that i need to update there and then researching skills classes so in the back of my mind i've been wanting i've been wanting to learn something new and I'm still trying to nail it down, you know? Sometimes I'm like, oh, I wanna learn something new in tech, um, maybe cybersecurity. And then sometimes I'm like, I wanna learn something more creative, you know? Maybe something that has to do with writing, maybe something that has to do with planning. Um, so I'm still trying to nail that down. So the research continues. And then post-motivational TikTok, so. <laughs> This past week, I've actually been intentionally posting um, like motivational, inspiration, law of attraction, you know, like manifesting your goals type of quotes uh, just to inspire others, just, just to honestly encourage, you know, others out there. So, and I've been enjoying it. I'm, I'm seeming to be consistent with it, so I wanna keep that up. And then cleaning the kitchen, always doing some cleaning. Although, I might need to film and like extreme clean with me or something, just where I go a little bit more detailed than my usual clean, because I've seen some of that um, content out there and it's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I might try it, so we'll have to see. And then Tuesday, so I put clothing review. I ordered a couple of clothing items um, in June from Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing. Um, <laughs> I've been wanting to do the hauls for them, but I just haven't gotten around to it, so I'm trying to make sure that I do that in July. You know, like, a lot of the clothes I got are mostly for summer you know like so i should you know hurry up and do that so i will be working on that also posting a motivational TikTok, short form content you know it's interesting i'm trying to find ways to help grow my channel um and trying to find ways to just grow my brand you know is it TikTok? is it youtube right now my focus is on youtube so I will keep that going and you know hopefully it just keeps growing but I also like tapping into TikTok so we will see and then um, Wednesday potentially go for a 30 minute walk again I just want to keep that habit of being active um, I would also like to film a new YouTube um, content, long form content, I guess is what they call it. So I would like to do that. And then uh, researching new restaurants. So I always put this here in my plan with me because again, I am in a new town. I barely know the area. <laughs> I don't know, you know, everything about it and I want to discover more. So what I feel like kind of helps me is when I say, oh, like I'm going to go check out a new restaurant. Then it's going to take me out of my, you know, comfort zone to get out there and explore a little bit. So that's going to be on my list for this month as well. And then lately, so for Thursday, I'm thinking of setting up my piano. So uh, back when I lived in Los Angeles, my beautiful, amazing little sister, <laughs> she got me a piano keyboard, like a huge piano keyboard as a gift. It has a, a stand and everything. It's, it's amazing, right? Um, and when I was in San Diego, um, 
sometimes I, I think it was like during the pandemic i would like whip it out and i would like play mozart you know like i was teaching myself certain classical songs so i want to get back into doing that where i'm you know kind of like self learning self training on the piano friday i want to do maybe like a movie date night you know like maybe go to a nice movie theater or something um i think transformers is either coming out or it has come out so <laughs> i feel like that's the one movie that i said okay like i actually would like to see so we're gonna see um and then check out the gym so my apartment um they actually have a gym <laughs> i just haven't used it like i've been there to kind of like take a tour you know of the gym but i haven't used it yet so i want to do better um and I want to start using it, right? Even if it's like, oh, I'm just like using the treadmill for a little bit. I just should take advantage. I mean, it's it's part of what I'm paying for, right? <laughs> Saturday, check out new restaurant, um, plan out in in the city, and then for Sunday, wash my hair. So that's another thing that I'm gonna be working on this month of July is just improving my hair care routine, improving my facial care routine. Um, I just feel like there's some improvements that I want to do because, you know, I want to see like my hair like thriving instead of surviving. Like I feel like my hair is like low key in survival mode, like since I moved here. Um, so just trying to figure that out and um, let's see. Yeah, organize my kitchen cabinet. Under the sink cabinet is like a long time ago, one of my first purchases in this apartment was actually an under the sink organizer from Amazon. And for some reason, I just haven't set it up. How many months has it been? <laughs> it makes no sense, right? So one of the things i want to make sure i do this month is actually unbox the organizer for under the sink and actually clear out all the products clean everything out and then organize it properly so we will see it should happen so <laughs> yeah anyway and so the rest of this page is just kind of like an overall view of you know, just the things that I plan to be doing for the month, um, like different weekly tasks. So we don't need to go over it. It's, it basically is is a summary of everything I basically already said for the weekly. I would say for the habit tracker, I haven't started using it yet, but I feel like again, June was the month where I actually started practicing good habits so i'm telling myself you know what i want to start using this to track what i'm doing um you know nowadays i try to eat like around noon and you know i try to break my fast with you know a smoothie or a tea so i don't know if i'm gonna organize it by every single hour as a list here but i would like to come back and be able to track my daily habits you know from you know am i waking up early you know that's always a nice goal to have i feel like i'm an early bird i'm for the most part i wake up early but you know i i like to wake up within a certain window um and then you know what am i doing after that am i doing some exercises um you know when it comes to eating am i you know, planning to eat healthy? Am I creating healthy eating habits? Um, and then just implementing other types of routine each day or routines each day. Um, you know, the nighttime routine, what's that gonna look like? You know, right now it, it, it looks like just uh, rubbing essential oils on my foot and massaging <laughs> um, and stretching. Those are the nighttime stuff and having a broccoli bowl oh my god but i want to elevate that just a little bit um to include maybe like a facetime 
or sorry, a facial routine, um, and some other things, right? So anyway, so that's just the habit tracker. So when it comes to goals, um, let's see, your potential to succeed is infinite. Ooh, I like that. I like that for the banner. I updated the banner, it's a little bit on the pixelated side slightly, <laughs> but um, I do like that quote right there. And yeah, diving into the goals, um, I also updated this just a little bit. Um, again, like I said, health wise, I do want to continue to be active, in fact, you know, like using my weights more, going for walks more. Um, I would say for the month of June, I didn't take my vitamins as much as I would like, but I will make an effort to make that, you know, a consistent thing in July. Um, and then career-wise, my goal is to look into some hobbies, learning a new skill, um, you know, one of the hobbies that I had, you know, for a long time was writing music, singing, producing, um, and it's been a while. <laughs> Sometimes in my heart, I'm like, I need to do something with that. I need to get back to being creative from that angle, right? So I don't know where this, like, new skill, hobby, and classes thing is gonna take me. Um, sometimes I wanna look into dance, you know? I'm Sometimes I, I feel like dance would be really fun. Um, so we will have to see where, where I end up with this, okay? And then for personal, read more. I started reading more in June. <laughs> um, I haven't, I don't think I've shown you guys yet, but Part of my entertainment um, console in the living room, it's it's kind of like a library. It's like a librarian media console living room entertainment style, um, and I love it so much. It has so many books, and you know sometimes I will just walk up there like in the morning and just grab a book and just cozy up on the couch and just read a really interesting story so sometimes I'll just I'll grab like I know some people will grab a book and then they'll just read that book and that will be it for a long time but I like to grab different books I don't know if that's just me or if that's anyone else but I kind of like to read multiple books at the same time I just feel like each story takes you somewhere different and somewhere new and I like that okay so anyways um, organizing cabinets hair care interior decorating the apartment that's gonna be ongoing hair care that's gonna be ongoing as well I got myself some new products um, I'm gonna be really focusing on hair care this July. Um, I'll be washing my hair more frequently. Like right now, my hair, I wash it like once a week or once every like six days or something like that. But I actually wanna wash it <clears throat> more frequently than that. <laughs> um, just trying to get the health my hair health back on track. I also got castor oil and I might invest in some other hair products. Um, you know, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, looking into plants for the living room, I actually can remove this just because I got two plants, <laughs> two full plants for the living room. One of them I feel worked out, and then the other one was just kind of like, it worked, but then I just felt like it was too much, and so I took it out. <laughs> I took it out of the living room and put it in the creative room, so we will have to see where it ends up. Um, but anyway, financial-wise, 
I would say, let's see, collecting grocery rewards and coupons, adding more to savings. I don't feel like that has changed. Um, but what I have been doing is, you know what, let me add this, monitor budget um, and spending. So what I started doing in the last week of June is actually making note of what's being spent like on each grocery trip or you know what I'm spending at the store like sometimes you know I will go to the grocery store and I'll be like oh wow I've bought everything I need but then three four days later I'm like wait I need some other things <laughs> you know and it's like in the moment of spending I feel like oh wow like I'm saving so much money like it doesn't seem like it costs a lot but I want to know like the holistic view of my spending you know like just one receipt you know each week you know just looking at it that way is not helpful so I want to have more of a you know bigger picture view of how things are being spent you know each week each month and i'm actually making note of it so when i do you know go to the store and you know i come out with the receipt i actually put it put that information like the the cost that was spent or the total i make a note of that somewhere so basically by the end of july um you know i do want to calculate okay so what has been spent here um, just so that I have a, a better idea of what's really being spent especially towards like eating <laughs> towards groceries um, things needed for the apartment and things like that so that would be one change that I have there and then for bucket list that hasn't changed too much <laughs> I still want to visit an animal farm although I feel like there was a story in the news recently where um, what happened I think some people went to a farm and then something crazy happened at the farm and some people got arrested and I was just like oh my god like <laughs> that is crazy so I don't know it may have to be a farm that is super touristy like I don't want to go to any remote backwoods farms <laughs> I don't want to do that no no on that I don't want to all of a sudden find myself in the sunken place or some shit <laughs> all right all right all right um and being that it is summer so I added strawberry fields or flower fields right like those are pretty popular during the summer so I might see if there's something like that to go to and then uh, do a road trip to the beach to a beach or a city we'll have to see because it's so hot and during the summer right now everybody is going everywhere you know like everybody's on the road everybody's flying I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to all the like air you know flight news and whatnot but it's kind of crazy it almost makes me just want to stay put you know like why do I want to experience that like people are literally you know their flights are getting canceled um, or they're having something as long as 18 hour delays I mean that is insane <laughs> so um, and then you know there was even a story where some people just gave up on waiting for their flight and decided to rent a car and drive on the road so if everyone's driving to their destination it's probably gonna be super trafficy. so I don't know I don't know when this road trip is gonna happen but look it's on the bucket list so it's still a goal um, oh okay let's go to my watch list so I like the watch list because you know it kind of helps show you guys like what I'm actually watching these days so for instance I've been watching Hell's Paradise it's a pretty cool anime it is on Crunchyroll yeah I put that there so it's on Crunchyroll it's pretty cool I said watching it in June I'm still watching it if you're into anime check it out um, it's definitely 
some nice action um, in there. And then Line of Duty, I think that may be on like a, a specific streaming app, but I found it on YouTube movies. So, you know, it's a British show. It's, it's a British show and it's like, you know, action, thriller, drama, action, drama, um, a little bit of mystery, but it's pretty cool. So I really like that. And then Mr. Mercedes, oh my God. If you've seen any of these, <laughs> comment in the comments and let me know. Uh, Mr. Mercedes is pretty cool. I highly recommend it. I feel like they did an amazing job in season one and season two. Season three, uh, <laughs> I feel like it could have been better, but overall great show save me already watched it that was also a british show and it was pretty awesome so yeah that's literally like my watch list and then at night i usually you know kind of wind down to brooklyn 99 because it's hilarious um and then sometimes king of queens because it's kind of like a throwback type of thing like a nostalgic to the old days type of thing which i don't know there's something about that right so anyways shopping list i kind of updated it just to kind of reflect some of the things that i know that i'm going to be buying especially now that i have more of a planned um routine with my eating and eating healthy so there's definitely gonna be a lot of fish in my diet i feel like fish is just one of those things that does help me stay on track with losing weight um and then you know broccoli sweet potatoes um i do want to buy some new like kitchenware items like pots plates mugs um, acrylic uh, organizers for the refrigerator I really want to get into that I I don't know if I'll get into all of that um, in July but it is on my to-do list right it would be nice to you know get more organized in the refrigerator um, and then there's always a Walmart pickup order <laughs> so yeah yeah so you know just just some simple things premier protein birthday cake flavor for smoothies and then chocolate flavor for if I'm just drinking it on its own um, coconut oil for hair I need to replenish that I need to replenish that and then turkey wings <laughs> Walmart actually sells these turkey wings that are like pretty damn good not cooked like you know the raw ones but then you know you can buy them and cook them you know season them how you want um, I was able to do that like a couple of months back and it was so good so I'm like you know what I might do that in July like why not right so I think the final thing I have here is the recipes list so the recipes list is kind of fun because I do enjoy trying new recipes on my own especially like baking types of things so I know in my last reset I had like turkey bacon egg bites strawberry lemon blondies right now honestly this recipes list it's meant to be stuff that I'll try in the month, you know, when I put them there. But right now it's looking like a wish list. <laughs> like, I haven't tried the turkey, well, did I try? I feel like I may have had a version of the turkey bacon egg bites. Um, but then the strawberry lemon blondies has not happened yet. Um, and then I just added for July, I added a chocolate chip mug cake. So the thing about the chocolate chip mug cake, so there's this book that I have in my library, um, you know, in my living room library, and it like gives you all these different mug cake recipes. So I looked this one up on Pinterest and I kind of like the ingredients. Again, super simple, you're microwaving this stuff. Um, 
and it's supposed to be yummy I mean look at this look at this <laughs> I saw this picture and I was like you know what I want to try this mug cake so my goal is to make a mug cake in July and more than likely it's gonna be this chocolate chip mug cake um, or it might be something else but I feel like I can make this and I hope it looks as yummy and tastes as yummy as this like <laughs> it looks so good anyway these things you know I am on a healthy eating plan right but this is like a once in a while treat you know like you don't have to totally deprive yourself right that's how I feel anyway if this is a once in a blue moon if I do this once in July or twice in July I think I should be okay right right <laughs> right <laughs> all right so I think that is it for my July plan with me like I'm trying to think was there anything else that I needed to mention that hasn't already been mentioned? No, I don't think so. So anyway, guys, oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much for, I guess, for being here, you know. Thank you for being here. Thank you for planning um, this new month with me. I'm really excited about the things that I'm gonna get to do. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, on the next monthly reset, I'm able to let you guys know like what I was able to check off my list. And I'm sure with the different videos I'm gonna put out this month, you're gonna see some of these things unfold. You know, like I'm probably gonna, if I end up doing a mug cake, that's probably gonna be in a vlog. Um, if I end up, you know, doing my walks or going to the gym or something or signing up for a class finally, I will share that in a vlog. So I'm excited, I'm excited. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I really really appreciate you and you know I hope you have an amazing month of July um, definitely channel positive thoughts um, positive things channeling great vibes for you okay for you and for me right <laughs> all right okay guys oh my god what time is it it's basically like let me show you guys what the time is it is 11 something 11.07 hmm that is not bad <laughs> all right guys i hope you have a wonderful july a wonderful day a wonderful night and um if you haven't already please consider subscribing sharing liking um consider signing up for notifications yeah that would be great let's let's keep this going okay all right well i will catch you in my next video bye